हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द पार्ट टू ऑफ योर स्कोप ऑफ न्यूट्रासिटिकल साइंस एज इन प्रीवियस स्लाइड्स एज इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड द जनरल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द न्यूट्रासिटिकल साइंस नाउ हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट एरियाज विच आर विच कम्स अंडर योर न्यूट्रासिटिकल साइंस द फर्स्ट वन इज योर क्लिनिकल न्यूट्रिशन now what do you mean by clinical nutrition this basically focus on the relationship between the nutrition and the health of a particular individual which involves assessing as well as optimizing the nutritional status to prevent as well as to manage the health conditions which develops the personalized dietary plans for the individuals which are based on their specific health needs the second one is your nutrigenomics and your nutrigenetics now first we'll see what do you mean by nutrigenomics nutrigenomics basically examines how your nutrients interact with the genes and how it influence the gene expression that is nothing but what that is the, that means your nutrigenomics the second important part is your nutrigenetics now in case of your nutrigenetics which actually considers the study of a particular individual that how the genetic variations affect the responses of the nutrients which will provides an insight into the personalized nutrition based on the individual's genetic makeup you might have heard about personalized meal plan personalized diet plan which is based on these particular concepts the last is nothing but what this is your regulatory affairs now which basically involves the navigation as well as ensuring the compliances with the regulations which are related to the nutraceutical products which addresses the aspect of your product safety labeling as well as marketing of your product which plays a very crucial role in maintaining the quality standards and ensuring the consumer safety in the nutraceutical industry now we are going to see what are the research and the development in the nutraceutical science the first point is nothing but what your biomodulation now biomodulation means what which basically deals with your prebiotic as well as your probiotic which investigate the influence of the nutraceuticals on the gut normal microflora which impact on the overall health of a particular individual here we are going to understand how the specific compounds affect the balance of the gut bacteria and which will contribute to the various health outcomes the second is your personalized nutrition and nutri nutrigenomics as we have seen before by using this exploring how your genetic variations influence the responses to a particular nutrients by considering all these condition based upon that an individual genetics makeups more personalized diet plan and more health effective outcomes we will be able to apply next is your natural compounds and your plant based therapies now here we are going to see about your ayurvedas in ayurveda many different types of plants which are medicinally important which are used with that it can also incorporate certain products which enhances the natural immunity of the person here in this particular area of research identification as well as the study of those bioactive compounds which are plant based and which you can incorporate into your food which will enhance the potential health benefits which uncovers the new compounds for the disease prevention and the management as well as the developing natural alternatives to your synthetic pharmaceuticals so it will also play a very important role in the replacement of your synthetic medicines with the natural source which is available next type of next type or the next area of research is your nanotechnology now this nanotechnology plays a very important role in the nutraceutical delivery now in case of your nutraceutical delivery by applying the nanotechnology it will enhance the delivery of your bioactive nutraceuticals where it will also improve the efficiency of the nutrient absorption and the most important point is the targeted delivery of your medicine or of your bioactive compound which enhance the therapeutic uses or the therapeutic effect of that bioactive compound next is your nutraceuticals which are <clears throat> basically used for the cognitive health in case of that which actually invest 
uh, investigate the impact of the specific nutrient on the cognitive function and the mental well-being where we are going to identify the nutraceutical interventions for the prevention and the management of the cognitive decline and the mental health disorders. Next is your functional food and aging where we are going to develop the foods which are enriched with the nutrients to address the <coughs> age related health issues means by consuming certain type of food we can cure these particular type of health issues which creating the nutritional strategies to support the healthy aging and enhances the quality of life in the elderly population as you have seen as age increases the digestion capacity of the body decreases to enhance that capacity we can incorporate such type of bioactive compounds or we can say that such type of foods we can use to enhance the digestion of that particular compound. Next is your blockchain technology and in case of your nutraceutical chain where we are going to implement this blockchain for the transparency as well as the traceability in the nutraceutical supply chain which will ensure the authenticity and the quality of your ingredient which actually addresses issues which are related to your fraud as well as your product or the quality control. Next is your nutraceuticals you might uh, for your sports performance you might have heard about sportsmen, the active people the athletes they are consuming all these particular types of food why is this so because they are fulfilling their actual needs which explore the effect of specific nutrient on the athlete performance as well as the recovery which will develop the nutraceutical strategies to optimize the physical performance as well as to support the athletes to fulfill their basic uh, needs of the nutrients. It also addresses the modern health challenges. Nowadays, if you have seen the lifestyle is so busy and we don't have time for this. So for that, in shorter period, period of time, in less food amount, we have to achieve more goal. Means what? We have to fulfill the requirement of the nutrients of our body. So for that, the rising lifestyle related diseases and the nutritional deficiency necessities, it is necessary to innovate the approaches for the healthcare. So, your nutraceutical can offer a best solution for the poor dietary habit as well as the sedentary lifestyles and the environmental factors which affect the health of a particular individual. By considering all these points, we are more focusing on the holistic wellness of the human being where the nutraceutical contributes the concept of your holistic well-being by addressing not only the specific health condition but it will also help to enhance to promote the overall well-being of a particular individual. This also focuses on the interconnections of the nutrients as well as your lifestyle as well as your health aligns with the more comprehensive understanding of the wellness. <coughs> This is very important area of research that is the digital health and the nutri uh, nutraceutical apps where here you, you might have seen different bands or the different technologies, different glasses which are available. Nowadays we are using smart watches, smart bands. Why is this so? Because they are helping us to track our health. Yes. So in case of that, the integrated technology approach where we can use the mobile applications for the personalized nutrient guidance. And also it is necessary to develop the user friendly tools for the personalized dietary recommendations and tracking, enhancing and adherence to the nutraceutical inventions. <clears throat> and by considering all these points, it is necessary to reduce the healthcare cost. So just imagine if we are consuming raw food and if we are taking the medicine, which will be more cost effective if you are consuming more raw food like fruits, vegetables, salads this will improve the normal health as well as your immunity yes so instead of paying for the medicine we have to pay for the food so investigating the preventive and the nutritional interventions can potentially reduce the economic burden on the healthcare system by addressing the health issues on the need for the expensive medical treatment as well as the interventions may decrease it. These are some references which I have used for the same. Thank you.